Hey, this is Wire Talker M, and uh, just trying to go over some things here and uh, share with you a little bit of my frustration for the day. <laughs> so let's get this uh, keyboard over here in the visual area and uh, see if I can't help some guys out today. So bear with me as I'm trying to figure out what works best. Okay, so we're going to explain a little bit about, and bear with me, there's gonna be some moving and fixing evidently with this video today. Um, okay, so Bluetooth. Right here, you should have a Bluetooth icon. If you don't, you will find it in Bluetooth Preferences in the Apple menu, System Preferences, and Bluetooth. You wanna make sure that this little check mark is clicked. Now, I understand that my video may not be as fancy as some, but we're gonna explain something that was hard to do. If you go to the Apple Store, and let's go ahead and go to the Apple Store. There we go. Boom. Apple Store. And we want to go to Accessories. And you, know, you got Featured Items, blah, blah, blah. Let's see here. Nothing that I'm looking for on my list. So, Dual... Sense. See if that works. Okay, dual sense. Did that help? No. Okay, let's try. There's accessories. Let's just try the word Sony. Okay, there it is. The DualSense Wireless Controller $69.95. Now, when you check out compatibility, it gives you a list of all the compatible units that'll work for Apple TV, iPhone, iPad, Mac. And this did work on all my devices, but there is a catch to that. The DualSense controller, whether it's connected to a PlayStation, whether it's connected to an iMac, whether it's connected to an iPad, um, all need um, a single connection. If you take the DualSense and uh, you connect it to... Um, another device and then come back to your Mac, it will not work. It'll say connection rejected right here. So if you want to repair this, you know, you go here, normal, looking for your connection. Okay, so right here, you got um, DualSense wireless controller and right now it's not showing connected, right? Not connected. So if I turn it on, this one should connect. So you got to hold the PlayStation button and the sharing button located above your um, diamond controllers, I guess would be one way to say it, the left-hand side. Okay, so hit those and hold them both at the same time. And it should start flashing. Now, click here. And there it is, it's connected and it's working. But if you've had it on another device, it'll say right there, not connectable or connection rejected, sorry, connection rejected. So right now we're good. It connects, everything's good. I hit it again, it's not connected. It's working exactly like it's supposed to and the controller automatically turns off. 
So, if you have this and you go to connect and it will not connect or any other Bluetooth, Bluetooth device is failing to connect, there used to be a feature where you could go shift option Bluetooth, bring this menu down and right in here, it would say reset Bluetooth module, and then it would just reset your Bluetooth, everything come back up, and it would pair everything or find everything that was pairable. And then it would reconnect if there was a problem with the connection. Well, that's been removed. They also, a long time ago, used to be an X right here that uh, you could just X out and leave. So now inside of Bluetooth preferences, which I will show getting into that from this menu, you go to Bluetooth preferences, it comes up, you got a device not connected, you got, you got an X here, an X here, you got an X here. Well, these ones will work, but I'm not disconnecting my keyboard or mouse. This one, however, is unclickable. It's a design flaw. Whoever came up with the code and the design and arranged the buttons, put the button over around the remove button, and now it won't work. This is a terrible coding flaw. It's a design flaw. It should get fixed. Um, I've mentioned it on multiple uh, avenues from developer to customer service, calling Apple Care, et cetera, et cetera. And... Uh, that's why I'm making this video, because one, you just don't have a simple way to do this. So I was told that, um, you know, to do a hardware reset, um, which is uh, um, control command PR, I believe, um, or option command PR, sorry, option command PR. I selected those buttons, on restart, nothing happened, it didn't reset. That was what I was told to do. It was option, command, and the letters P and R at the same time at the chime. Okay, didn't work. Um, that worked on G3s, ironically enough, a long time ago to get you into the firmware menu. Um, so, the the DualSense wireless controller. Now, they've done all this changes in Monterey. So Monterey's got these changes. You got your DualSense wireless controller isn't working. Now, I talked to people about this and you know, they were like, "Oh yeah, this is this is how this works." So let's go Control, press the control button down here below your shift next to the world button is your control button and your mouse. Now you have a drop down menu. Connect or remove. And now you can connect or remove a device. If I hit connect, it's not turned on, it's not going to connect. I have to hit both of the buttons on the dual sense it lights up it connects it's connected so any device can be fixed this way if you have options in your way of your bluetooth device you hit control and click your mouse button while hovering over that item and it'll give you a drop down menu to remove or connect that device okay and this may be the first video of many as I haven't used a Mac in a long time. And as I find things, I may share what I found. But it does work really well on, on a Mac. And I've had pretty good success with it. And the M1 is pretty fast on games. And so, you know, you pick a game and boom, Apple Arcade, you got your game loft, you know, boom. And it's asking me if I want to record screen or don't allow right now and don't allow. So, pick a game.
big quick race, boom, classic, whatever. Yep, got my Kawasaki motorcycle and got your options there. I just hit start. And I'm going to tell you right now, I am terrible at this game. So with that, I'm going to let you go and I hope you enjoyed the video.